<laughs> so do you have a Willem Dafoe movie pitch this time? I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I was just wondering. Why, yes, I've been working very, very hard, literally like a bee. I mean, yeah, I've been pollinating flowers in, in my own special way. Working like a bee in order to bring to you the manuscript for my hot new film. It's called Chicken Pool. Chicken Pool? Oh, yeah. Willem Dafoe plays keyboard wood. <laughs> keyboard wood, owner of the world's first and premier chicken pool. It's me, keyboard wood. For 10 years, I've been living the dream. The dream in every American's heart. To own and maintain a swimming pool exclusively for chickens. Hard to believe. I'm sorry. This is Spencer. Come with me, won't you? It doesn't matter. And look at my chicken pool. <laughs> I mean, I just I identify so readily with that that desire to have a chicken pool. He's the heart that beats in all of us. The camera zooms like towards Willem Dafoe, goes through his legs, and comes back up over the site of a majestic swimming pool full of chickens. <laughs> then then the end? Like, what, he got it? No, 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 no. There's, there's drama as well. Oh. Because one day, Willem Dafoe is just doing what he always does, which is he gets into the pool and lies on his back and just floats there surrounded by chickens. And they're, like, crawling over him. They're swimming. They're clucking. They're laying eggs. There's feathers everywhere. He's floating around just going, Ah, so many wet chickens. So many happy wet chickens for me. When there's a knock at the door. There's a knock at the door. Who dares interrupt my chicken pool? They'll pay for this. Just a knock on the door is enough to... <laughs> Got him planning revenge immediately? I'm gonna fuck up whoever's at the door. <laughs> Everyone knows that from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., it's chicken pool time. That's so many hours. Yes, got it. <laughs> there, are, there aren't enough hours in the day to swim with chickens. It, it, just to be, there's water in the pool, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's just so many chickens that you can't see the water, but they're, they are. And they're not drowning? They're not just dying? No, probably. I mean, he, he has... Every night he has to go through with a net just to clean it up. Ugh. There's a lot of feathers. You can't tell if there's any actual chickens in with them. And feces, too. The chickens will just poop. I'll get your mind out of the gutter. All right, I'm coming. Let me see what's going on here. I'm, I need to answer this quick so I can get back to living the dream. Opens the door. It's Charles Dance. Oh, the actor. From Game of Thrones and Dalian 3. Is that keyboard wood? The one and the same, living the dream, the chicken pool dream. Well, it's me, Mr. Bank Manager from the bank. And you owe us money. <laughs> oh, no. I owe the bank money. Where am I going to get this money from? <laughs> he says as he pulls his collar. Not my problem. Get the money by sundown or your ass is mine. Classic evil banker. Sounds like a landlord. Yep, yeah, gets on his skateboard and skates away doing sick tricks and stunts. That's the thing that's always bothered me about bankers more than anything. It's not the way that they sort of manipulate the financial system to the detriment of all other people, but it's that they so naturally pick up six skate tricks. Better than anyone. It's more of a jealousy thing then, than a resentment, it sounds like. No, it's just not fair to anyone else, because we all have to work for it, right? But if you're in the financial sector, you're given a skateboard. Tony Hawk was a hedge fund manager. It's true. So his name is his first name is Keyboard. Yeah, Keyboard. Not usual. No, no one. It's not usual to own a chicken pole. Only a scant few of us can live that dream, and Keyboard Wood is living it. Well, he might. 
Will I be able to keep living the dream if I owe the bank some money? I better check the paper, see if there are any opportunities for me. A humble chicken pool owner and operator goes through the paper. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? This could be the answer to all my problems. A tomato tournament today. What? Grand prize, some money. And he looks directly at the camera. It looks like I've got to win a tomato tournament to save my chicken pool. <laughs> <laughs> There's a knock at the door. Oh, for fuck's sake. What asshole is knocking at my door when I've got to train for a tomato tournament to win some money for the bank to save my chicken pool? Better go answer it. Opens the door. It's only Terry Hulk Hogan Belia. Wow. The wrestler? Well, let me tell you something, brother. I couldn't help but hear that you need to win a tomato tournament, brother. I'm going to train your ass. And then you're going to win that tomato tournament, brother. Uh, there, there's a training montage for the tournament set to uh, Blur's number two. Woohoo! Na 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 Woohoo! And Hulk Hogan is yelling. He's screaming in Willem Dafoe's ear while he's got a big plum tomato in his hand and he's lifting it like weights. And he's just, you live that tomato, brother. You live that tomato for your old pal, Hulk Hogan. Wait, 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 wait. He's lifting tomatoes or he's growing big tomatoes? Uh, What's a tomato? Uh, pumping sauce. I'm pumping sauce at the tomato gym. He's, he's dribbling, dribbling a tomato like a football, like a soccer ball. Scores the goal. Yes, brother. You kick that tomato into the goal, brother. That's how you win a tomato tournament, brother. <laughs> he's got a pile of tomatoes on a plate and he's just eating them. Ow, 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 ow. Tomato juice and seeds just dribbling down his mouth. And the camera like pans in slowly onto his face, just getting closer and closer as it shows his mouth. And it gets right up close to his mouth. <laughs> Fruit, tasty fruit, oh, yum, tomato, fruit. nature's harvest. Oh, yum, yum. And you see, like, you know, like little bridges of spit in between his lips as he opens his mouth, and just seeds all just pouring oh. like sweet, fruity lava from his mouth. Wow. I love it. I love the way you eat those maters, brother. Wow. The montage is over, and Hulk Hogan says, I've taught you everything I know, Mean Gene. Now go out there, brother, and win that tomato tournament, brother. I'm going to go out there and win that tomato tournament, brother. Oh, not so fast. Whoa. It's me, Brendan Fraser. And I've never lost a tomato tournament. I'll see you at the tomato tournament. Next scene, at the chicken pool. Willem Dafoe is lying in the, in the pool, surrounded by chickens, just going, ah, ah, I won! <laughs> Credits. <laughs> you don't even, you don't even see the tomato tournament? You don't need to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it's completely applied. Ooh, again. You, you do a time jump. You jump over the end of the movie and just cut you back. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the credits music. You are the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. You are the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It fades out. There's sinister music. Dun. It fades back up to the chicken pool. Dun. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Who pissed in the pool? Oh, wait a minute! You all did, you fucking chickens! You are the one that I want! You are the one I want! Wow! <laughs> and as, as Willem Dafoe looks at the camera and just starts munching on a big fat tomato, <laughs> splashing tomato juice at the camera, he's deliberately dribbling all the seeds and the juice out onto his chest as he lies in the pool languishing and he's waving his finger at the camera just going, ah, tasty tomato. And then, then it zooms out to the window outside the chicken pool as Hulk Hogan just roots through Willem Dafoe's trash, looks into the window, looks at the camera, winks and says, 
I think they're going to be all right. Because <laughs> that's what we were wondering. We were like, oh, yep. wow. Are they going to be those characters I've come to care for so much and just want want to see their happy ending come to fruition? Are they going to be all right? I mean, the pool full of urine and chicken and... <laughs> well, Willem Dafoe's total lack of concern for whether we want what he's got is is never been higher i think he's just revoltingly dribbling juice out of his mouth during sounds like a good half of this movie you paid me some money this time keyboard word but you won't pay me some money next time probably that's in there somewhere right that's well that sounds like the real because i thought these post credit sequences were going to be trying to build up to some sort of chicken pool cinematic universe and you're gonna have to lead into the sequel or to the the spin-off about hulk hogan having his own problems with his own pool but instead you were like using them to really conclude the movie which is nice but uh there's about 15 mid credit scenes <laughs> all of them concluding the movie in some way like there's one of brendan fraser who's just sat on a chair saying well i lost <laughs> in case in case you weren't sure if that's Yep. What happened? Joe Lotroglio as the tomato commissioner just looks at the camera and just shrugs. <laughs> he was surprisingly expensive for such a quick scene. Joe Lotroglio. Oh, hmm. yeah. Is he, oh, is he one of the uh, insane clown posse? Yeah. Is that who he is? Yeah, Joe Lotroglio's in the insane clown posse. <laughs> <laughs> Jug- Juggalo, Truglio, Jolo. Yeah, that's him, Su- Juggalo Truglio. 